Hi guys, how are we doing? And today we're back with another video. Now, you've hopefully clicked on this video because you've seen the title, The Most Difficult A-Level Question Ever. Now, this is a question that maybe not everyone's going to agree, agree with, but this question was pretty different in terms of what people have seen before. However, it is apparently part of the curriculum, part of the spec for A-Level. So, just before we get into the video, please do hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. It helps me to see that you guys want to see more, and it also helps my videos reach other people. Also hit the like button and leave a comment. So without any further ado, this is the question. So it's from one of the 2018 June papers, I believe. I think it was AQA, possibly paper two. And this is it. So let's have a read through. So we've got a graph and we've got y equals the square root of x drawn on it. We've also got bars at x equals 4 and x equals 9. So that's here. We've also got this strip here, delta x. And I'll explain what that means in a minute. We've got this point p that lies on the curve y equals the square root of x. And we've got this this grey shaded bar. Okay, let's read through the question. So figure three shows a sketch of the curve with equation y equals square root of x, which is also x to the half. The point p of x, y lies on the curve. The rectangle show, shaded on figure three has height y and width delta x. So again, that's this strip here. Okay, now this is what we're asked to calculate. We're asked to calculate the limit as delta x tends to zero, the sum x equals four going to x equals nine of square root of x delta x. Okay. Now, some of you are probably uh, looking at this video and saying, well, what's so difficult about that? But others might be completely clueless with what to do. And what does this mean? sort of thing mean. Now let's have a look at the actual calculation. So we're going from x equals 4 to x equals 9 of this thing here, the square root of x delta x. Now the square root of x delta x is nothing more than these type of rectangles shaded in on the diagram. Okay so square root of x is the height and delta x is the width. I'll just draw one of those out. So here's a rectangle. Delta x is the width and the square root of x is the height. So what we're actually doing is summing up rectangles. And in particular, we are summing up rectangles in this region here. So there's a rectangle, 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 and so on. And we're going from x equals 4 to x equals 9. The other thing to notice is this thing here, the limit as delta x tends to zero. So what is happening as this quantity here gets very, very small? Well, of course, these rectangles are just going to get thinner and thinner and thinner. OK, so delta x, delta x, delta x. And now it's time to put this all together. There's quite a well-known result in calculus that says, uh, so it looks like this, so it's the limit as delta x tends to zero, the sum x equals a to b of f of x delta x, this is nothing more than the integral from a to b, f of x dx. So in fact, what we're doing when we're summing up all these rectangles is we're actually just calculating an integral. So let's put this all together. So therefore, limit as delta x tends to zero, uh, the sum, that's a terrible sigma there, x equals 4 to 9 of the square root of x delta x is nothing more than just the integral from 4 to 9 square root of x dx. OK, so let's just work through that. Well, the square root of x is just x to the half. So integrating that is going to give us 
or x to the 3 over 2, and we need to divide by this. So in other words, we're timesing by 2 thirds. And we're evaluating between 4 and 9. OK, so putting this together, we're going to get 2 thirds. And I'm going to do it in square brackets. So we've got 9 to the 3 over 2, take away 4 to the 3 over 2. And this is going to be equal to 2 thirds of, well, 9 to the 3 over 2 is the same thing as the square root of 9 cubed. So something like this, which just equals 3 cubed, which equals 27. So we've got a 27. And similarly, 4 to the 3 over 2 is just equal to the square root of 4 cubed, which equals 2 cubed which equals 8. So getting back to our answer, we've got 2 thirds of 27 minus 8, which is 19. So all in all, we get 38 over 3. And that there is our final answer. So quite an intimidating question, especially if you're not familiar with the notation. But yeah, once you realize that it's just an integral, it's nothing particularly difficult. I really hope this is has been useful and you've enjoyed. Again, please hit that like button, hit the comments. Let me know if you thought this was difficult or not. Please subscribe and have a wonderful day. Expect more videos soon. Bye bye. Yeah.